I'm Jonathan Lippman, I'm one of the three cha uh, chairs of this task force with Father Pius and Martha Minow. And uh, I want to thank uh, John Levy, the more than 60 members of the task force, and Martha and uh, Father Pius for working so diligently for more than a year on this, or really two years, on this remarkable project. I also want to express my thanks to Rob Balionic, who you heard from before, and the spectacular team at Latham and Watkins, and Lynn Jennings, who you saw how spectacular she is uh, just a minute ago in the uh, panel, and LSC staff for their wonderful work in support of the task force. There are many findings and recommendations, but in large part, like so many things in life, and I think this became clear from our panel, from our speakers. This is all about relationships, building partnerships to prepare, prepare for disasters and to enable the legal community to be in a better position to serve and assist low-income disaster survivors. To do that, we need the obvious, communication, cooperation, and coordination. Among the emergency management community, legal aid providers, the private bar, the judiciary, community-based organizations, and the business community. The very lives of human beings are at stake. You know, I am so interested and uh, happy that, uh, as Joe knows, when we had 9-11 and everything else that was going on here in the years after, we struggled in the court system to be a part of the picture. I noticed right next to the cubicle while I was sitting, one of the, the next cubicles said New York State Courts. And when we first started these kinds of things, that didn't exist. And so you see kind of a, a aspirational thing be a reality in the normal everyday way that things are done. Whether it's the MTA, whether it's the New York State Courts, whether it's DOC, Department of Corrections, all of it come together to do what has to be done. Uh, we must all, in our respective roles, be better prepared. I think uh, uh, Joe said it all. It's kind of, yeah, we do great sometimes, but we also, you know, sometimes miss the mark, and we can't afford uh, to be anything other than great in this particular endeavor. This isn't about expecting the unexpected. Given the, the 530 presidential d disaster proclamations and all of it, this is about expecting the expected and being ready for it. We have, we have produced a detailed, concrete guide to help legal service providers and the courts to be primed and ready to ensure that our justice system functions in times of disaster as it must. Similarly, we have produced detailed checklists to help low-income individuals, families, and communities prepare for, respond to, and recover from the legal challenges of a disaster. Our hope and recommendations is that legal aid providers will use these checklists and other materials to help individuals and families in their communities to be ready to meet the legal needs pre- and post disaster. And for those of us who are involved in these kind of efforts, the visions are so great. You know, during Sandy and the, the mobile trucks of the providers and all these different things and, and hooking up with the, with the responders and emergency management community. Um, being prepared is so essential. All the other tasks that we do in the, the LSC, this is most important because what happens just happens, you know, it can't be you're going about minding your own business. We have to learn from experience and be ready for the next event, which surely will come. The release of this report, as you know, is not the end of our efforts. As John said, we have established a high-level working group to assist in implementing these recommendations and continue to educate the emergency management community, and they educate us too, uh, about the importance of integrating legal service providers in their work. By no means is this a one-and-done endeavor. LSC, with the help of the working group, will also work to establish a one-stop online resource for disaster training materials and expertise, 
open to pro bono lawyers and other volunteers, legal aid lawyers, and disaster survivors. There is so much to do to better prepare and respond to the daunting challenge and cycle of post-disaster civil legal issues. And it is our fervent hope that our work here, and it's been such a wonderful experience for all of us who have been involved with this, but it's our hope that it will provide an invaluable guide so we're not flying by the seat of our pants in these kind of situations, but actually have a real solid sense as these things unfold of what we're doing, what we should be doing, and how to make sure that the future is provided for, that we're not just doing it today because we know these the, the aftermath of these disasters goes on and on and on. So to those who are and will undertake this critical work, we, we just hope and believe that this report can be kind of a roadmap to what needs to be done. So thank you all for being here. Uh, the task force has been, again, a wonderful experience for all of us. We're very proud of the report, and we're very proud of all of you. Thank you so much.